I'm Dr. Roger Sankson. I'm a professor that holds a joint appointment in the School of Media Arts and Design and Communication Studies. A faculty athletic representative, usually referred to as a FAR, is appointed by the president of the institution. And therefore, first and foremost, uh, I am the eyes and ears of the president in all athletic meetings and athletic endeavors. I try to give a faculty perspective when we're having discussions uh, on policies that affect the well-being of student athletes. But secondly, I think a role that I really try to cultivate is a bridge between the athletic department and the academic units here at JMU. Uh, often one does not understand the other, and so in that I have a foot in both camps, I'm able to try to relate information from one to the other and, and, and build cooperation here at JMU. First and foremost, it's working with the student athletes. We have 450 of the best student athletes in the country, and I'm really truly amazed how well they perform both as a student here at JMU and as an athlete competing on a national scale. Uh, the other thing I really enjoy is the athletic department and the team that they have set up. From Jeff Bourne on down, I have met no one who hasn't had the utmost respect and desire to help out our student athletes, so it's been a great experience working with them. Uh, like a family, we want to make sure that everyone has all the tools they need to succeed. We want to make sure from a mental perspective they are fine and healthy. We want to make sure that we're giving them all the tools to succeed in the classroom as well as on the playing field. So I say family orientation is the perspective we have here at JMU. When I came here, no one had any idea where Madison College or James Madison University was. Initially, our basketball success under Lou Campanelli brought national attention to JMU. And since then, it's only continued to grow. So we often hear that athletics is the front porch of the university. And indeed, I think it certainly is one of the pillars to draw a lot of media attention. And once you're aware of an institution, whether you're a student, a faculty, or administrator, then you can investigate even more and this is a wonderful place to work and a wonderful place to cultivate your education. So athletics gets that momentum started. I, I think our academic services department is absolutely crucial to the academic success. And that starts with Jen Phillips as our head. It works down to our athletic academic advisors who actually go through the training of advisees here at JMU. So they, they are very well versed not only in JMU, but also they can do the NCAA eligibility evaluations. We then have individuals that schedule tutors and our student athletes take advantage of the tutor experience, which is very important because they are gonna miss class. So a tutor can kind of help supplement the information that they're missing out in terms of those lectures. We have laptops available to them that when they're traveling, they could check out a laptop and get work done. We travel them on Wi-Fi buses so they can connect to the software package that we know as Canvas. So all that integrated together allows them to be successful in the classroom. We are very fortunate to have a Duke's Lead program because it, what we've found out is that sometimes an individual who's very vocal as a student athlete on the playing field is very quiet in the classroom and need a little assistance to take those skills of leadership from a playing field and translate them into skills that will allow them to lead in the business community, academic community, and so on. So Duke's Lead, first of all, works with them in terms of bringing in speakers of local, regional, and national expertise to help them understand the qualities that they possess and how to enhance them. But they also get a wonderful degree that's going to open numerous doors for them down the line because JMU is going to prepare them not for just a job, but for a career and lifelong learning opportunities.